The Minister of Information and Culture, Alahaji Lai Mohammed, has raised alarm over an alleged plan by the major opposition party, People's Democratic Party, PDP, to sabotage the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. Mohammed said the PDP was trying to trigger what he described as another end SARS protest to heat up the policy and make the Buhari administration look bad in the eyes of Nigerians. He boasted that while the PDP were wasted 16 years without leaving behind any legacy, even with the huge oil revenues, the APC-led federal government has delivered many monumental projects across the country with lower oil prices. The minister questioned the rationale behind the opposition party's moves to return to power in 2023. The opposition say they handed over a 500 billion economy, the price of uh, petrol, the um, foreign exchange booster. I asked ask them, what infrastructure did they leave behind? How many kilometers of roads did they leave behind? How many kilometers of railroads did they leave behind? At the time of plenty, and I said it here, when they had the money, when petroleum was selling for almost $100 for more than 10 years, what did they do with it? They frittered it away. If we did not if we left a sand economy, if we, if we left the sand economy, the sand infrastructure, we will not be building the, we will not be completing the 30 year old Itape, um, um, worry. We will not be building a brand new uh, 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 standard gauge rail from Lagos to Ibadi. Everybody in Nigeria today, whether political party, or individual that is wishing for another answer does not serve to rule this country. We are not saying that the position should not decide, but they should not promote anarchy. That we never promoted anarchy in our time. And I said, I said, this is not the first time they are going to do this, but we will continue to we we'll continue to come here and defend our position, whether in the area of security, whether in the area of uh, of infrastructure. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.